Welcome everyone to Meditation by Design. I am your guide, Shelley Carter, and I am excited for you to be here tonight. Um, I'm really glad that we're doing these meditations and everyone I start out with, I'll start out with pulling a card and I work with Native American cards, card decks and angel card decks. And I will always start off with pulling a card for everybody who's listening right now and then everybody who's listening for the future. It's a group card. And then those of you who would like me to pull a personal card for you, I will do that. We already have one request for that. So the card for tonight, we're working with the Carolyn Miss archetype cards. And the card that came up for tonight is the angel card. So those of you who believe in angels or are exploring and learning, um, this these cards have a light and an a light attribute and a shadow attribute. So I'm gonna go ahead and read what the book says. So when the angel card comes up, we're looking at the card meaning your fairy godmother or your godfather, or I would say also your guardian angels. Has a strong connection to the angelic realm through art, music, and literature. Provides a channel through which angels' presence is palpably manifested. So as we go into our meditation today, it's going to be super cool to see what comes up. I do have a specific intention for this meditation, and we're going to go into that in a minute. Shows a prominent, loving, and nurturing character. Fairy godmother, godfather, or your guardian angel helps someone in need anonymously and with no expectation in return. So, you know, as I was reading this, I was like, hmm, how many of us have expectations on the things that we do or what we give? Shadow side of angel manifests as a claim to be in touch with angelic guidance for the sake of control or ego or ego enhancement or acting innocent to mislead others. So it's kind of like, you know, we all have both sides, both our light and our shadow side. And it's kind of like looking at where we're at with that and and what are we working on and working on improving. And so, uh, oh, hi, Eva. So I have Nancy who would like me to pull a card from her. So Nancy, I'm shuffling the deck. And I want you to tell me when to stop. Hi, Marcia. You're very welcome. It's a big deck. <laughs> okay, so this this one here. Okay, great. So let's see what the card is. Hmm. The card says the fool. And it may not always seem what it appears to be. So it says, the light attributes of the full is fearlessly revealing emotion. Wow. Fearlessly revealing emotion. And I think this is so perfect because so many of us are encapsulated with fear. And, and you know, kind of like in my podcast I was talking about last night, we get so immobilized and so frozen we can't move forward. So the light attribute of the fool is fearlessly revealing emotion. Like, what is that like to actually be in touch with our emotions and to actually feel at levels deeper than we've ever experienced? A lot of us have walls up because of traumas that we've been through. Helping people laugh and absurdly and hip, hip, hypocrisy. So um, I just look at that and say, okay, laughter is a really great medicine. And then the shadow side, it says using humor to wound rather than to liberate denial of your own emotional truth. So as we're going to go into this meditation, I would also have you look at where are you denying your own self to look at your own emotional truth and really where you're at and what you need for healing. So I'm going to look up the full in the book because it's going to give us more information, right? So just give me one second here. Okay. Oh, this is super cool. So great choice, Nancy. Um, fool, the court jester, clown, dumbling, embodies ability to communicate profound messages through humor. 
represents what people would like to do or say themselves. It kind of like gives you that freedom to be fully expressed in a way that you can share what you need to share without feeling like you're hurting somebody's feelings or like you can't say something. Often wears a mask that covers one's real emotion. So something to check out there. Um, generally it says male, but I'm going to say, you know, you know, we both have feminine and masculine side to us. And so to look at that masculine side of us and see where maybe that side might be fooling ourselves or we're not really wanting to look at. Dumbling doesn't do, doesn't so much impart wisdom and as kindness and simplicity. Shadow clown or fool manifests as cruel person, mockery or betrayal. Consider your use of humor in association with power, especially in a way that's fundamental to your personal protection and survival. And part of what um, the meditation is about today is we're looking at the root, our root chakras and where our roots need healing. Because um, for those of you who are watching, Root is about what? It's about your foundation. It's about family, tribe, finances. Um, absolutely, I can draw a card for Marcia. So, um, yeah, and it's, and it's about empowerment. So once we begin to heal in those areas, then um, it's like a whole life begins to change. And I always say as above, so below, as below, so above. So if your root chakra has a fracture or if there are things that aren't balanced there, it's going to affect our connection to source, our connection to uh, peace of mind and clarity and, and being able to connect with others. So let me see here. Nancy, did you have any questions about that? I'm just clearing and now I'm shuffling and I will oh Marsha sorry Marsha <laughs> so I'm shuffling tell me when to stop well it looks like it looks like this one wants to be your card so I'm pulling that one out for you Ha! Huh. <laughs> it's so funny how some of these cards are so perfect. So like, as I'm shuffling, I'm like tapping in Marsha. So the card that comes up is the queen. Would, would you say that that relates to you? Let's see. All right. So I'm going to read this. So queen. <laughs> so she says it's okay. All right. Great. Um, the queen light attributes radiates the regal feminine, uses her benevolent authority to protect others. So I would say that you're probably a protector of those that have a hard time speaking for themselves. And, um, and then the shadow side is that the queen can become arrogant when authority is challenged, controlling and demanding. So, so let's see what the book says and how that applies. So let me see here. All right, so here we go. And she's, oh, Nancy's laughing. All right, so the queen represents power and authority in women who symbolically rule over anything from a corporation to a home. Associated with positive arrogance and a need to protect one's personal and emotional power. So as women, um, besides being nurturers, we're like the powerful force in the family and, and in a lot of areas and a lot of areas in life. Um, let's see. Shadow queen can slip into aggressive and destructive patterns or behaviors, particularly when authority or control is challenged. Look for a pattern or authoritative control of others throughout your life. So, <laughs> so um, and, and look at the shadow is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's like, okay, what are we going to go work on? And so, and, and there may not be anything that pops up for you in the moment, but as we begin to go through this meditation, you might be like, oh yeah. And you might see things as we go into the meditation. It's like, okay, I didn't even know that was there. Or maybe you knew it was there, but you didn't know how to access or have access to that for some freedom. Would anybody else like me to pull a card? Miss Eva?
Well, it looks like I'm going to pull one for her. So, and then that'll be the last of the pulling the cards and then we'll get into the part of the meditation. So, um, wow, interesting. Okay. So for Miss Eva, uh, I think this is quite interesting. Do I need to say any more? The card exorcist comes up. It's a light attribute freeing yourself and others from destructive impulses. And it's so, I think it's so interesting because I know that with the work you do, that's a lot of what you're doing. <laughs> okay, I got your yes, please. And then the shadow attribute is fear of facing your own demons. I'm gonna let you see this one again. Well, anyway, let me go look, read it up in the book. And um, it's just, really cool because you know that's been part of some of the conversations we've had over the past few months in terms of the energy work that we do here at the center uh exorcist says shaman hmm so we'll take that into consideration when you're journeying and when we're journeying together through this um, meditation able to confront evil in the form of possession by destructive or antisocial impulses in oneself and others. Do you want me to read that one again? Okay, yes, I think I will anyway. Able to confront evil in the form of possession by destructive or antisocial impulses in oneself and others. Now, the shadow side of exorcist attacks the evil in others without having the courage to face your own demons. Discern a lifelong pattern of exercising the negative spirits or social groups or individuals. So I'm just going to say that for everyone that has a Jacqueline would like a card too. Okay, great. So for everyone we're pulling cards for tonight, I'm just going to say there's been so many shifts going out there in the energetic world and that your level of uh connection to source is deepening and then also rising at the same time and so let me pull one for Jacqueline I would say oh hi Charlene I would say um tell me when to stop I may stop anyway well this one just like flew out of the deck so we'll take that one so let's see here huh well, I'm going to hold this aside because yours came up as the exorcist also. I don't know what you do for a living, Jacqueline, but, um, whew, okay. One more time here. And there it is. Ah, liberator. So I can see how the two of these can go together. I just read about the exorcist. So we're going to combine the liberator with you, Jacqueline. The light attributes is freeing yourself and others from outmodeled beliefs, releasing negative thought patterns. Now the shadow attributes is imposing your own tyranny over those you claim to liberate, ignoring legitimate constraints. I can really see how the two... Let me see if I can do this. How the two of these go together because I just have this feeling with what you do, the liberator and the exorcist actually go together. So you're freed up from the constraints of the past. And so you're part of what you're um, going to be working with is people who have been stuck in old belief patterns and you will be retraining them in that area. So that's super cool. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. And Charlene would like a card. Okay, well, let's go for it. <laughs> Just going to clear that out a little bit here. So, okay, Charlene, tell me when to stop. I know you can't really see me shuffle. I think I just burnt the hairs on my fingers. <laughs> oh, this one's for you. Okay. 
Oh, wow. This is super cool. Okay. I love all these cards. I think they're just so beautiful. Uh, this one says the shapeshifter. So um, when I look at shapeshifter, I look in the Native American ways, Fox would generally come up and Fox has a lot to do. Okay, perfect. Fox has a lot to do with being able to be in a room and not even being seen, or you can shift into different shapes or things I'll just say. But anyway, the card says a light attribute is a skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness, ability to see the potential in everything. And I don't know if you could have seen the bottom part of this card, which actually is almost like the colors of the chakras. Um, shadow attribute is projecting any image that serves your personal agenda in the moment. So kind of like hanging on to it, kind of like hanging on to it when it's time to let go. So, oh, let me look this up, shapeshifter. <clears throat> Alrighty, here we go. Shapeshifter, now it's a spellcaster. Or you could use the word intentional thought or uh, creating your own environment. Has the ability to change appearances and negative thought. <laughs> well, just what I was saying. And has the ability to change and navigate through different levels of walking consciousness. But a lot has to do with thought forms, dream states, and the astral plane. The shadow shapeshifter exhibits instability. Uh, fickleness and a lack of conviction like politicians who reinvent themselves to appeal to the latest public trends. <clears throat> Anyone we know? <laughs> and Charlene says, so oh, that's true. So look for a lifetime pattern of flexibility, changeability, or deceptiveness, especially tied to your work or family life. And so you can bring that to the meditation to if there's any areas that you feel need healing in that area, um, bring that also to the meditation today. So um, how will I retain them finding the middle road? Okay, um, well, Jacqueline, why don't we chat offline and then I can answer your question. Hi, Beth, great to see you here. So we're gonna get started and with the meditation, um, now I have this journal. We don't have a picture up yet. It's inside of heart and soul. It actually is really beautiful. And so if you have a journal, we're gonna do some reflection, which um, pulling the cards did some of that. And one of the things that I like to do is travel inside the body. And when we're traveling inside the body, what I'm looking for is where are their energies stuck? A lot of times we're looking at the outside, but we're not always looking inward. And so I have this sheet, next time I promise I'll have um these up so you can actually see them better but you can see the nervous system your digestive tract circulation muscles respiratory and this is last one skeletal so just really check in you know we're going to be checking inside the body and see where things might be stuck so we can do some clearing some healing some relaxation now i am going to say there's going to be some visuals tonight so while the visual and the music is playing, I will be doing energy work over here. So um, if there's an area in your life where you would like healing, please put it in the chat. Um, if, you, if it's something that you don't want people to know about, then instant message me and uh, it kicks you off. Well, uh, try to come back on. So I know like Facebook sometimes gets a little crazy when it's busy time. So um, I've got markers, I've got my journal, get yourself comfortable. The thing that I'm gonna let you know is the music that we're playing is music specific for healing. And then um, when we go into doing the meditation, I love starting off with candle gazing. It gives my brain something to do. Um, a lot of times people complain that, well, I try to meditate and I can't get my brain to shut off. Well. I don't know that our brains ever shut off, but we can give our brain something to do while we're working on bringing peace and calm into and within ourselves. 
So if you have a candle and you want to use it, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, I have a candle here and you can use the candle um, that I've got going on. So um, whatever you'd like to do is perfect. In the show, okay, per okay, got it. So um, anyone else have a particular area they'd like healing in tonight? Uh, just keep putting in the chat because I'll, I, in between everything I'm doing, I will be watching the chat so I know where I'm working with each, each of you that are here today. So um, as the music begins to increase, I'm going to have you guys take three deep, gentle breaths. I want to make sure that you're taking that breath from your belly and that you find a place, maybe you're laying down or you're sitting in your comfy chair with your blankie and maybe your pillow. And so we're going to do a three or a four count, three count, four count with breath. So it'll be breath in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, release, two, three, four. Breath in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, release, two, three, four. I understand the shortness of breath, so do what you can. And as you practice this, because you'll have this to go back and practice with um, and to review. So the more you practice, the more it'll help with expansion of the breath. So we can actually begin to calm down the nervous system. Breathing issues is something I've dealt with since I was a little girl, so I understand that. And uh, the only thing I will say at this moment is just be patient with yourself. So breath in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, release, two, three, four. And so we're going to time this for about 30, 60 seconds. And when I do candle gazing, I'm either looking on either side, above, or directly at the candle. A lot of times I might see things in the flames. So we'll look for a minute and close our eyes for a minute. And everything that we've been talking about, this is a sacred space. And so just allow yourself to go where you go. So we're going to start the gazing and the timer starts. Work on your breath work and just kind of soften your eyes. Notice where there's any tension in your body. You can tighten that area and then just relax it. And let it go. Take a breath in. And then we'll go down. Hi, Meg. Thanks for joining us. Breath in. the warmth, the heat. Notice if it shows up in different areas of your body. Now I want you to close your eyes. No worry, no stress. You may see images go by. You may have feelings starting to come up. It's all perfect. It's all okay. You may see the flame still in your vision, and that's perfect too. And then it may take shape or form in some way. Take a nice, deep, gentle breath. And when we go into the meditation, we'll do one more candle gaze. And just know that I will be with you in the middle of where you're at. You are safe. You are protected. There's nothing to do and nowhere to go. So let's look back at the candle. And we're gonna take one more gaze at the candle. Again, you can look around it, you can look over it, even look at the bottom where the blue is. Just notice what you see. 
You might even see two flames instead of one. It's all okay. It's all perfect. Nice, gentle breath in. Again, notice where there's any tension in your body. And feel it melt away. Now this time I want you to close your eyes. And when you close your eyes and if you open them again, there's going to be a new visual on the screen. And that visual will stay there till the end of this session. And again, we're working on the root chakra. I'm also going to say we're working on your heart. Heart and lungs are connected. Lungs and colon are connected. Your root chakra, again, has to do with finances, tribe, family, root sacral. Is it safe? Are you safe in this world? Anytime there's been any type of shock or trauma that's been experienced in your root chakra area, it really throws your life off. I was talking to somebody today and we were talking about uh, the tailbone and how I felt she needed her tailbone adjusted. And she's like, you know, I was talking to a friend and they went and had theirs adjusted and it's like their whole life changed. And I said, I would highly recommend that you do that. Sometimes it gets stuck especially if there's been falls and sexual abuse. doesn't matter if you're male or female. We all, all go through different things at different times. Just take a nice deep breath in. And just notice your body. Just notice your breath, even if it's a short breath. Or if it's a long breath, some people can hold longer than the four count, three count, four count. Just notice any sensations that are coming up for you right now. And take another deep breath in. And then blow it out so you can hear it. So it'll go like breath in and then it'll be like a <sighs> kind of sound. So I think it's interesting when babies aren't able to sleep and we sing to them and we go, shh, just how that hush sound is soothing to them. Or when you rub on the top of their forehead, it's like it calms something down within them so they can actually relax and go to sleep. So that breath where you breathe in gently and you give that shh or that ah sound, especially with the tongue at the top of the roof of your mouth, helps to calm down your body, helps to calm down your nervous system. Just know wherever you're journeying, I'm in the midst with you. You are safe and you are secure. And so we're going to follow your breath. When you think of the cards that were pulled for you, and if you didn't get a card, just think about what are the areas of your body that you want healing or what's going on emotionally where you need to be shored up a little bit or maybe a lot, especially with things going on right now. How many of us just want to get on a jet plane and fly somewhere? So guess what we're going to do? You can find your favorite car, an airplane, your private jet. And we're gonna take three more deep breaths and we're gonna find our favorite mode of transportation and we're gonna get inside that. And before we do that, I want you to think about what's your favorite vacation spot? Where in the world would you like to go that you haven't been 
Do you like to explore the caves or go deep sea diving or just bask in the sun with nothing around? You know, my favorite place that I haven't been to yet that I want to go to is the Fiji Islands where you see those huts on the water and you've got nothing but water around you on the hut. Just sounds so peaceful. Just enjoying the breeze, the feel, the buoyancy of the water. So we're going to take another breath in. And breathe out. And so you're going to step into and you're going to board your favorite mode of transportation. And in the mode and of the silence, you may have a friend that comes with you. Who is that going to be? Is it one of your animal guides? Is it one of your angels? Ask them to come join you on this journey and ask them to join you and let you know what you need to see that you cannot see yourself. A lot of meditation, at least the way I see it, is about learning who you are on the inside. The outside right now doesn't matter, although we are going to get in the cars. Now, my mode of transportation is the Lamborghini, so, so here I go. And you can share with me after the meditation what your mode of transportation was. And so we're going to take a few moments and turn the volume of the music up a little bit. And then we're going to step into our mode of transportation and then allow ourselves to go to our favorite vacation spot. Now you can run, you can walk, or you can just slowly saunter to where you're going. So go ahead and just let yourself go. If you find at any moment of any time that you find the, the chatter in your head keeps going, open your eyes and look at the screen and follow the slow, gentle waves that you see for a moment and then close your eyes again. Sometimes you just need your brain to be reminded it's like it's okay to be active and, and it can slow down just a little bit. That little bit can actually make a really big difference. Now the sound and the colors is really based on healing the root chakra. So I really want you to check and see how are you feeling in these travels. What is your root saying to you? We can look at all the organs, kidneys, bladder, reproductive system. I always say, as above, so below, and so below, as above. So as we begin to work on bringing energy and healing into the root area, it will affect every other chakra. Your root is your foundation that we build everything else on. So I want you to take your next breath and just breathe into your pelvis. And I want you to breathe like you're, when you exhale, you're blowing the breath of life right into you. And then when you exhale, you're exhaling what no longer serves your purpose now. So breath in, breathe in the breath of life. And when we exhale, we exhale everything that is not life. And guess what? You've arrived at your destination. How time flies so quickly. 
And so you get out of your vehicle, whether it's the plane or the car or the boat, and you begin to walk on the land. There might be someone there to greet you. Who is that? And if there is, do they have a message for you? No reason to be afraid. They're here to help and to guide. Maybe you're along a beach. Maybe you're high on a mountaintop. Just allow white light to come searing through your crown into the center of your body. And you're Nancy just feeling it healing and with the warmth in your shoulder and your bones. I call forth and command your DNA to restore itself back to how it was originally designed, back to how you were originally created for you and for everyone on this call. So take some time now to explore where you've traveled to and what are you seeing and who are you meeting and who are you greeting. And they do have messages for you. And unfortunately, soon we are going to have to come back. So take a few moments to say thank you. And when you're ready, and only when you're ready, you can step into your mode of transportation and descend back to your body. So I'll give you a few moments to do that. Remember to breathe. Now I see everybody's coming back and it's time to get out of your cars and your boats and your planes and come them back to your body knowing that your guides are still with you your angels are still with you and they will be everywhere you go so I want you to take three deep breaths in and begin to get a sense of your legs you can move them around if you'd like your hands and arms, your torso, your neck and shoulders and your head. And when you're ready, and only when you're ready, you can write down what your experience was. You can write down where you went, what you went in, what colors did you experience? What did you notice and how you felt? People feel and experience things in different ways. So maybe you're a feeler or maybe you hear things or maybe you get messages or uh, you could be like me where I'm very tactile. So what was that for you? How was that for you? And take whatever time you need. So I'm gonna give you just a moment So for those of you who are ready for bed, although it is still early, but I know some of you have had very long days, I thank you for being here with me today. 
And for those of you who still have things to do and you're just going to uh, be walking around the house and navigating around, be open to how maybe you might sense things differently or feel things differently or maybe conversations show up differently for you. Watch your dreams because things may show up in your dreams that maybe haven't shown up so vividly before. Thank you for being with me tonight. If you have any questions, please leave in the comment box. If you have anything you'd like to share, leave it in the comment box. I'd love to hear from you how this was. I'm Shelley Carter, your guide for tonight on Meditation by Design. Thank you for being with us.